countdown is on 977 subs and just got 23 to go to get to a thousand and then we'll have that giveaway uh, but let's get into today's video Rusky's Crypto Cave, and here's a look at what today's project is going to be. Uh, my Fruition Designs Kit came in for the S19K Pro, along with some other goodies. Um, I got one of those Cloudline George, or however the hell that's pronounced, uh, for the AC Infinity inline fan controller. So that will control the speed of the inline fan. Don't have to do it manually, you have a separate controller. And there you have the wire cable adapters for the fan plugs for the S19K, but I have a, a Epic control board, so I'm not going to need those. And then, um, actually, these screws were all loose in the box, and I actually just put them in here, uh, just because they were just rolling around the box, which was not the best packing design, I would say. Uh, they should have that in a separate little baggie, so they're not rolling all over the place, because as I was pulling parts out, screws were falling out. And then next to it, I'm going to co color color code um, the power cables so I have the green yellow and blue breakers or not green yellow green red and blue breakers so got green blue and red uh, power cables I also picked up some orange uh, network cables cat 6 um, the all the cables and stuff were from in, in infinite cables um, they look like they're nice quality Let's see how they work power cables are nice and thick um, so that should work out well so Anywho, this is going to be uh, what I'm going to be doing for the next, um, hopefully, I can get everything, bang everything out within an hour or less. But let's go out in the shed and take a look at the machine that we're going to be installing this on. Alrighty, we're out in the shed here. This is my S19K Pro. So this is the machine that we are going to be installing the Fruition Design Kit on. And I plan on moving it down here where the KS0 currently is, but this is also where my IB-Link BMK3 was, and I have the outlet there to the exhaust right outside outside of the shed. Um, let's see, follow the breaker that this one is on. This one is on that one, which I believe that PDU is the green one. I'm pretty sure that's that, where that one's plugged into. I don't believe the blue one is this guy, and the red one is the big one in the corner there. So, but I currently have my S19J Pro 104 that's running on a Brains OS board. That one is with an inline fan, but I don't have that Major fan controller in that one. That one's just controlled by that manually. I just have it pretty much constantly set at a speed of 8. And then in the summertime when it gets hotter, I'll have to crank it up, up to 10. But as of right now, 8 runs good. And uh, maybe after the halving, when I knock the power level down to make it run more efficient, um, I'll, I could probably even leave the span at 8 because it won't be producing as much heat. But that's for a future video, I guess. But this is the guy that we're going to be moving. And uh, didn't do any work on that yet, but I figured I want to do this. This is going to be my first step just to get the, the uh, see if I can get some of the shed temps under control a little better. Not that they're running out of control now, but. Um, I just believe there's going to be an issue come summertime because um, now there's four full-size ASICs. Granted, the KS2 only used 1200 watts, but there's still a lot of heat being produced. I still have to replace the battery. That will be sometime today. And then, but currently it is 42 degrees outside, and it is 82 in the shed currently with the top two fans on a speed of 5. The bottom two fans are off. Uh, so we'll use that as a reference point as we go along. So it'll probably warm up a little bit throughout the day, but not much. It's not supposed to get too warm today. Uh, so it should stay somewhere in the mid-40s. But the game plan is just get that first one done today. And then uh, I do have some other plans. So I won't be doing a whole lot more, but um, today that's... Because I actually I bought a bunch of other cables and stuff to kind of color coordinate stuff with different power cables and network cables and whatnot. Kind of fancy schmancy it up a bit. But... And hopefully you get more uh, better cable management because this is like a spaghetti mess right here right now. So 
Um, I can maybe get that a little bit better organized. But I'm gonna go back in the house, start bringing out some of the parts, bring some tools to start working on this, get her shut down, and uh, we'll probably pop in intermittently as I go along just to show you some of the steps. And uh, hopefully we're up, back up and running pretty quickly. All right, we'll be right back. Alrighty, we got the piece of wood here for it to rest on. I had to slide over the 8x3080 rig just a tad. It hangs over the edge a little bit. So it should be all right. I moved the KS0 underneath. And then I brought up the other AC Infinity inline fan. Now I do have um, the Molex connector on this guy. So I had to order a adapter for USB-C. Uh, which actually I just remembered I forgot that in the house so I have to go back in and grab that um, but you do have if you do have an older AC Infinity fan with this Molex type connector you do need do need to get the adapter cable which I'll leave a link in the description in the description for that below it's like six seven bucks something like that it's not bad it's not much at all um, but you need that because the the George fan controller uses a USB connection and as you can see there is plenty of cable, so I'll have to wrap it up and get that out of the way and maybe hang it on here or something like that to get that out of the way. Because uh, all the other from that one is just kind of jumbled up down there. But here's all the parts. Got the blue power cable since that's on the blue breaker box. Uh, it's a Bitcoin miner, so I did the orange network cable. The Fruition design kit. All the screws, the fan controller, and all the instructions and stuff which I probably shouldn't need, but I brought out just in case. So I'm gonna run back in the house and grab that uh, adapter and um, we're gonna get cracking. All right, here is the adapter cable you need. So it's EC Infinity Molex to UIS adapter. Um, so you plug in your Molex cable there and there's the USB-C. I'm not sure what I call it UIS, but I guess that's their what they need for their controllers and stuff. So. Um, because when I had the controller 69 hooked up there, that was a Wi-Fi one and whatnot, um, it needed the uh, USB-C type adapter. And currently, that controller is in the box over there because I was having issues with it. So, not using it. Or it might even be over here. There's a bunch of crap sitting over here, too. Uh, maybe not. Oh, there's the, yeah, there's the controller 69s. So, yeah, I guess I didn't even have to buy one of those adapters because I got one right there. But I knew I had them, I wasn't sure where I left it, but I figured out ah, it was cheap and I was just getting another one. So Alright, let's get let's get working on this and just I don't want any downtime as little downtime as possible. Uh, cause that one's hashing the highest out of all my miners, so I wanna get that one back up and running ASAP. So currently cranking at 130 per hash on uh, the Epic Control Board. Alright, little progress update. Uh, I got the old fans off. Got them removed. So now time to, uh, I still have to do the uh, power supply fan grills, get them off and put those screws back in. And then we're ready to start putting it back together. This is the Pivotal Pleb Tech and the Jordan uh, Cloud Light and fan controller. Um, there are some jumpers that are in the package. Um, they have put it in like different modes, but I am not going to be using them. I'm just going to use them in this, the way it's set up stock which allows the fans to run at 100% if needed. There are some configurations that you could do to uh, limit the fan speed that it only maxes out at like 70%, which is what operating mode configuration, little board, little uh, post uh, business card type things do. And it gives you the installation instructions and all that stuff with the different uh, uh, setups and stuff. So. I'm not going to be using them, no. So we're just going to be doing uh, the uh, stock, default stock mode. So we are going to just install this. This just installs like so. All these little female plugs just made up with the male ones. That's it. And your, your USB cable from the AC Infinity fan just plugs in there. Uh, so I'll probably have to figure out routing and stuff like that as far as the cable to, so it doesn't get pinched. My guess is maybe sneak it back out through here. Uh, there's some room by the bus bars and hash boards and stuff. So. But I'm going to get cracking on this and get some of the other parts installed and 
we'll give you another update once we're all back together. Alrighty, we got her all hooked back up, powered her on, AC and family fan is running, plugged into the 120 outlet. It's on the, I, thought, I grabbed the blue cables at first because I thought it was on the blue breaker, but it's on the green breaker. So that's what it's on right now. Uh, no warning lights yet, I brought the laptop out. Did have an extremely long cable, they got 15 footers just because I wasn't sure if they're going to be doing stuff over there or here. Uh, so I'll have to arrange that. Definitely have a, a lot more network cable than I need, but that's okay too. So let's get in and fire a Brave here. S19K Pro. Just starting up, only up for a minute. So this will take a little bit to get the get up and hashing, so we're gonna let it run. That was at 2400 watts, so it's only showing maybe like 1600, 1500 now watts. So we're gonna give this a few minutes and let her go and see where she settled out at. been up and running for a few minutes now. Um, the fan is gradually slowing down. Power usage is at 5321. Uh, the voltage optimizer is still running in the OS. So, yeah, a little bit of time yet for that to run its course, but uh, this is about 100 and some watts lower just because the, the fan now, instead of being the uh, high-speed ASIC fan space that you run in, it's now running off to the 120. See, still running, it's still in progress. Fan speed is down to 73%. It was running at 95 for a while. It's going to keep on doing this for a while. I have the temperature set, target temp set at 62 degrees. So it's going to gradually control everything until it reaches that. Uh, so I'm going to let this run for a while. Uh, I'm going to go in the house and maybe start. Uh, upload or download the videos from the camera to the PC and then we'll hop on the computer and um, see if the voltage optimizer has run its course and where everything's settled out at. Uh, right now, so far, everything's working good. Everything is planned. I got an empty space up there. Probably maybe slide that one over and make, give it some more space. But overall, it's running good. That's hooked up exhausting directly outside the shed. That was up to 86 here at one point, now it's dropping down to temperature dropping, so, and it is still 42 degrees outside. Um, I gotta get batteries and stuff like that to switch these batteries around in these thermometers. That one too is dead. So, I'm gonna grab these, I'll take them in the house with me. Really? Yeah, this one's dead too. I'm going to put this one in my other pocket so I know which one's which, so I don't mix them up. But, yeah, so we're still running, so we'll be back once that thing has run its course and everything's uh, settled out. Alrighty, we are back inside on the computer, and it's been, let's see, I'm going to guess hour-ish, hour and 15 minutes, so somewhere around there. And the voltage optimizer is finally done. After a few restarts, everything's up and running well at 130 terahash. Efficiency is 22.5, using about 2,900 watts. Uh, fan speed is settled around 80, somewhere around there, uh, which is right around 8 is what I had the other one set at. So 80%, so that's probably about right. Temps are right around 60 on the exhaust side. Uh, temps in the shed. I'm going to pull it up on my phone and I'll take a screenshot. It is currently 42 degrees outside as well. And I'll put a screenshot in the video here too that we'll see. It is 80.6 degrees. 80.2 is the picture that changed to 80.6. Now I'll take it again. There we go.
yeah, it's fluctuating between 80.6 and 80.7, bouncing back and forth. Uh, so I'll put that screenshot up and on. You can see from the AC Infinity controller on the exhaust side. And uh, so the temps are dropping. I'm just more curious as far as when it does get warmer out and see how it does. Which, weather-wise, I think this week we do have a few days that are going to get a little bit warmer. Um, it's cold and windy today. Uh, kind of crummy out, raining. Uh, just kind of a crappy day. Go pulling up the weather. Yeah, we got some 50s and 60s. Wednesday's gonna be 66, so Wednesday will be a good test to see um, how this helps as far as isolate the heat and temperatures inside the shed. Because uh, the next steps will be building the shells for the other two ASICs, which I think I'm gonna do no matter what. Um, even, even if I don't think I need to, I think because then that will free up the upper shelf. And then actually, if I need to, if I need to actually have some open air rigs that could get running, um, I'd have. 16 GPUs behind me that aren't mining, uh, 5700 XTs and uh, 85700 XTs and 81660 Ti's. So I may throw them back on. Um, so I'll figure that out. But overall, this has been a success. So uh, I think it's working pretty well. Um, so it's the fruition design kit on the S19K Pro with the Epic Control Board and the and the Jord um, from pivot pleb something or other tech whatever i'll put the links to and stuff like that down, down below to the to the uh, parts that i used uh, I, I know you could get that Najord fan controller on altair tech and uh, fruition design kit i believe I bought, I bought that off amazon no i think i actually got it right from uh, fruition designs directly uh, i think i went to their website and got it purchased it from them, them directly uh, so i'll leave links to that and uh if you're interested in it, and also the uh, that adapt USB adapter, because uh, if you have an older AC Infinity inline fan that has the the Molex connector, you're going to need that. Um, but if you have a newer AC Infinity inline fan that already has the USB connector, then you're not going to need it need that at all. So, but until the next video, uh, we'll catch you later. I have uh, my two thirty sixty Ti rigs to update and transfer over to MMPOS, which I'm currently doing a high replace on the one right now to get it on the most recent image. And uh, and then I'll get that migrated over to MMPOS because tomorrow is the new pricing. It takes effect. And I have four rigs on Hive now, and they're only going to be giving you two free anymore. Um, so i got going to move my 3060 Ti rigs over to MMPOS. Uh, if you've seen the last video, you'll see why. So, But anyway, catch you later.